Hello, I'd like to introduce new method to measure the MI proton transfer and the nuclear overhaul enhancement signals with extrapolated semi solid magnetization transfer reference EMR signals and apply to the red tumor models at 4.70 MRI. The chemical exchange saturation transfer imaging is an important molecular MRI technique that can generate the contrast based on the proton exchange between the free bulk water proton and the solute label protons. Mobile biomolecule with a water exchangeable proton can be detected indirectly through the bulk water signals. MI proton transfer APT imaging is sensitive to the interactions between the free bulk water proton and the MI proton in peptide bond of mobile protein in tissues. One of the APT MRI applications is detection of the gliomas because of the relatively large mobile protein content in tumor tissues. Another application is pH imaging of the stroke because the MI proton exchange rate is best categorized in the physiological pH range. Usually, we can see the mixed delay water saturation and the conventional empty effect and the shasty effect in the G spectrums, which is water saturation as a function of the frequency of cell relative to the waters. In order to remove the contamination from the delay water saturation and the conventional empty effect, magnetization and transport ratio asymmetric analysis has been used. However, as the problem is the presence of the confounding energy effect at minus 3.5 ppm upfield from the waters. Energy effect is transfer of nuclear spin polarization from the one nuclear spin population to another. It has been used to measure the intra or intermolecular distance, in particular in the protein complexes. There are two different ways the NOE can be transferred to the waters. One of the ways is dipole dipole interactions, another way has been described through relayed exchange mechanisms. From the backboard aliphatic, the protons to rapidly exchange groups, and to the free bulk water protons, the which is detected through the sort of traditional shasta te imaging technique. Let's go back to the MTRS matrix. Due to the this NOE effect, the care should be taken when interpolating the measure of the APT signal using the MTR asymmetric analysis. APT signal from the MTR asymmetric could be underestimated due to the NOE effect. Here we propose to extrapolate the semi solid empty reference signal techniques based on the symmetric empty C models with a super range line shape to quantify the APT and NOE signals. It is well known that two pool systems combined with a superorange line shapes can describe the behavior of the conventional empty signals as a function of the RF saturation frequency offset, frequency and the amplitude. We fitted the four parameters with a wider offset experiment data, the excluding data points of the small frequency offset between the 7 and the minus 7 ppm. Therefore, APT and the most NOE contribution should be minimized in our empty models and obtain the empty curves in the frequency of the range 6 and minus 6 ppm should include only the water saturation and the same solid empty effect. But finally, by subtracting the experiment data from the EMR curve, we can obtain the APT sharp and NOE sharp signals. The we apply the EMR method to the red tumor models. The quantitative measure of the APT and the NOE signals were compared at the three RF saturation powers. We can find two important results in these studies. The first one is the APT sharp signal of the tumor center and the tumor rim was significantly higher than that of the normal tissue across the all RF power levels. Second, the RF power dependency of the APT sharp NOE sharp signals can be seen very clearly. APT sharp signals were smaller than the NOE sharp signals at the low RF power, however, it became significantly larger than the NOE sharp signals at the high RF saturation powers for tumor center and the tumor limb. APT contrast was all positive at three RF saturation powers, however, NOE contrast was negative. Interestingly, the absolute APT image contrast between the tumor and the normal tissue were consistently larger than the corresponding absolute NOE contrast. In addition, MTR asymmetric at 3.5 ppm image contrast were all dominated by APT sharp image contrast. 
In these studies, we found the APT sharp signal intensity of the glioma was much larger than the values referred to the before, which is up to 10%. APT sharp signals were significantly higher in the tumor than in the normal tissues at the or saturation powers. In addition, we found the APT signal was a major contributor to the APT weighted image contrast in tumors. However, NOE contrast was the relatively small and was a positive confounding factor in the APT weighted image contrast in tumor studies. In conclusion, our EMI approach is straightforward and more accurate for quantitatively measuring the APT and NOE signals. Thank you.